so this is the uh, dish caddy uh, installed uh, and this is how I have it organized I have the uh, you know the sponge and the soap over here because they don't leak and then the uh, cutting board holder over here and I can tilt it like this and it leaks into the sink and then I put this back here so it leaks into the sink and the uh, about the only place you can get the uh, the uh, silverware caddy is uh, in the front if you want it to leak in the sink you can put it anywhere you want but if you put it out here it's going to leak outside the sink and that kind of defeats the purpose of the of the product um, that's not a big deal uh, it says that it is stainless steel powder coated however magnets stick to this like it's just regular steel and it doesn't mean that it's not stainless steel there are different types of stainless steel some of them are magnetic and some of them aren't so I really can't comment on that but if this is stainless steel and the paint chips off, and it will, because you're going to be dropping metal spoons like this into the bottom of this where the powder coating is. You're just going to do that. You're not going to put them in real easy. And it's going to chip the paint so that it's powder coated. Um, this is a... I've done powder coating before on metal. It, it, it's it's a... If it's powder coating, I've never seen this type of powder coating. It's kind of a matte finish, and powder coating is smooth. Anyway, you know, maybe they can do it differently now. It's been a long time. But anyway, this is how I have it set up. And uh, a couple of things here. This is about as good as they could do, I guess. You know, it's, it's pretty decently organized. Um, it snaps together right here in the middle for, to save space when they ship it. Uh, it has four screws, one, two, and two on the other side, and that's it. To assemble it, it's very easy to assemble. Uh, these can only be so wide, otherwise they come out here and they interfere with you doing dishes. These work really well. You just stick the uh, you just stick the bowl in these like this, like a dishwasher, like that. And they work well. However, you can't get two of these bowls in here side by side. They won't fit. They just they just won't fit, and uh, you would have to stack them like this. So you can get one, two, three, four, five, six bowls in here, and then you can get probably two more right here. You could get seven bowls. Uh, the plates, they fit perfectly, for my plates anyway. I don't have a problem with them. And you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about ten plates in here. And this is a fruit holder, they said, or whatever. I just use it for, you know, there's, there's no place to put cups here. You just have to kind of put them wherever you can put them, but you can put cups here and you can fit about, uh, I think about four to six cups in here, depending on their size. There's no room for pots and pans, but then again, even when you have a, a side caddy right here, there really isn't any room for pots and pans in those either. Uh, and dishes at the same time, you dry the pot, pots and pans and then, you know, put the other stuff in them. So uh, there's about as, as much room in here as you can get. Um, they do make these, not this company, I, I don't know if they do or not, but other companies on Amazon make a dual tier. So there's two of these right here, racks. You might want to look into one of those if you need more room. For, I would say, two people to four people, there's going to be plenty of room here. Any more than that, you're probably going to want to use a dishwasher. We have one, but it's only me and my mother, and I, I take care of her, and, and so it's fine. I don't, ever, I don't use the dishwasher. And this is going to get, this got everything off the, uh, counter it opened up the space right here which was full which was a uh, old uh, style uh, dish holder and I can put a lot of stuff here now when I prepare food if I wanted to I could move this all these racks are removable and I could put it over here if I wanted to uh, it might not fit right here uh, I could put it back here I could put it right here if I wanted to uh, and that's about it I, uh, this right here might be able to be designed differently this seems like an awfully big piece of material for some knives and you can't get your knives out of it if you're lifting them up they hit so you got to take them out like this and i think this could be lowered down another couple of inches here so the knives go in down like this and hang hang out down here but they can't go too far because they would hit the sink but anyway a couple of inches anyway would be fine they could shorten this make this come down a couple of inches it would be easier to get the knives in there you can still get them in it's not that big of a deal and the small knives of course are easy to put in there uh, the other thing is these pot these uh these holders right here that you put spoons on you know soup spoons and and uh you know ladles and things like that they're very 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 
cheaply made and, and they, they work but just to tell you how soft they are it's kind of ridiculous you know they don't need to make them this this horrible look at this you can just squeeze that and bend it so that's really my only complaint is this this, this is not <laughs> it's not optimal as far as material goes but they work they, they hold the spoons they don't deform when you put a spoon up here spoons are very light and it's not gonna not gonna hurt them at all it's just kind of eh, didn't impress me Otherwise, this is it. It works fine. My uh, my sink from the widest point to the widest point is 33 inches. They they recommend not going any more than 32 and a half, but you can see here that I still have space. So you can go 33 inches. You could probably go even more than a little bit, more than 40, 33 inches, and uh, it fits fine, and everything drains right down into the sink. It's pretty cool. The other thing you want to make sure that you measure is your distance to your... Uh, your uh, cabinet which is probably going to be fine because they're not going to come right up against the sink like this they don't do that they always they're always over a ways so you're probably going to be fine there anyway that's it that's what it looks like it works really well and uh, i'm pretty happy with it uh, uh the other thing stainless steel i don't know they say it's stainless steel stainless steel some of it does attract magnets this does attract magnets very well like regular steel if this isn't stainless steel the paint's going to chip on it okay and it's going to rust and it's going to go right in the trash. There's nothing you can do about that. Like, for example, down in here, that paint's going to chip off. If it's stainless steel, it's not going to rust. Or if it does rust, it'll be, it'll be very slight. It won't be that bad of a big of a deal. The last thing I will say is that there are vendors on Amazon making the same thing in stainless steel. It's not, it's not, coat. <clears throat> it's not even painted. It's, it's, you can see the steel itself, the stainless steel. And they won't rust. Or they'll rust very little. You know, they'll last forever. And the ones I looked at were $80, this one's $60. So if you want a, a truly stainless steel one where you can actually see the stainless steel, bare stainless steel, you might want to look for those. This was $60. Uh, it's about in line with all the other ones, the single tier ones. And that's about all I have to say about it. It works. It went together really well. There, was no bro there weren't any broken parts. And for our use, it will be fine as long as it doesn't rust.